Don't tell me you've been playing around with Leo Botha. No, that's what I mean. I'm being fired for what I didn't do. He came in last week on a real dull, rainy night. I knew he was, but I didn't let on. He kept staring at me all night. Are you listening? Avidly, avidly. Um, he was staring. Staring. Consequently, when he approached me on his way out, I wasn't surprised. He was doing a special Sunday piece on... Cigarette mm. And naturally... You were thrilled about being interviewed. And, uh, were you interviewed? In his apartment. Where was his wife? I don't know. It's a big apartment. <laughs> Only I wasn't interviewed. In fact, I was totally unprepared for what happened. Oh, come on, Chicky. We're friends from way back. A big columnist comes into this club without his ball and chain, and you make like a delicatessen counter. What did you expect he was going to do in his apartment? But, Sidney, sweetheart, the man must have been out of his mind. It was only 11 o'clock in the morning. I was so taken aback, I said anything that popped into my sleepy head. I'm not mistaken. I think I even ordered the man out of his own house. He was furious. And by the time I could have been put in a tropical island mood, I was out on the street. That night, Van Cleef calls me into his office. He's got nothing against me, he says. Only can't afford to antagonize columnists. So I tell him how I still have Sonny at the military academy. Sidney, do you think you could do something? Uh, that's what I'm thinking, Rita, maybe. Sidney, do you still keep your key under the mat? Can you be there at 2.30? 